So now, what could be better than a traditional Christmas dinner? Well, according to Phil Vipi... <laughs> Maybe according to me. <laughs> eating it all at once um, is, is the way to go. He's got his festive burger. We have a bit of fun. I was, just, I was thinking of all the Christmas elements, all the flavours. So when you fit to sit down for Christmas dinner... Yeah. Your Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. your potatoes, your cranberry sauce, your... Anyway, and I came up with this, right? It's, it's quite simple, but quite a bit to get together. So OK, here I love it is. you've set yourself this little challenge of well, doing this. Well, here it is, look. Oh, my gosh. So is that like a bubble and squeak burger in the middle? All will be revealed, Holly. All right. Okay. Let's that... tower. Let's start here. Right. This is turkey mince, thigh mince, OK? Right. It's a bit more forgiving. So when you're making a burger, for instance, it doesn't go as, as dry as, as turkey best can sometimes do. Now, a little bit of a tip here. I do put salt and pepper in there like normal. Again, not too much. Mm -hmm. For 500 grams of mince, you want one heaped spoon of any mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Oh. Mayonnaise. In that goes, and that's your binder. Do you put that in all your burgers? Yep. Do you? Yep, especially things like tuna burgers mm -hmm. and even salmon burgers. Just, it ah. just holds on to the moisture content. Good idea. Now, you need to mix it up to a patty consistency. The biggest problem with the burger is it can be crumbly. Mm -hmm. It should be a patty consistency. And what I've done here, as you'll see, as you add the mayonnaise and the salt, that tightens that protein up. Okay. It will set it up. And we use the burger press here. So what I've done here is I made this one here into a patty. And that's it? That's it. Oh. Salt, pepper, Mayo. Mayo. Nothing else. Easy. OK. Uh, then egg and bread crumb them as well. So they end up like this one here. So that's your patty there. Very simple. And this is sage and onion stuffing, stuffing. mix. Oh. So you've got your stuffing flavour around your turkey. Oh, that's... I like that. Actually, we used to have a, a nanny called Super Sue and she used to put it on pork chops for the kids. So Good that was her tea. idea, not mine, I have to say. That Sue, really that's good. your idea. Now, moving on. So here we have the sausage meat. So yeah. your pigs in blankets comes next. I didn't want to put bacon into here because it wouldn't go crispy. Right. So you could have made it crispy and then added to it later on. I've just kept that side, as we'll see in a second, mm. just as honey cured bacon. Here, I've got bog standard sausage meat, and to that I'm adding chopped chestnuts. Right. Canned or vac packed. In they go, like so. This is so clever what you're doing. No, no it's not really. It is no, so it's clever. not. No, no, it's not. It's I just, just realised that there's three burgers going on here. <laughs> Mix my it up. My mind is blown. Oh, bear in mind, the great thing about this is you can make all these beforehand and put them in the freezer and yeah. cook them from frozen. Oh. That'd be absolutely fine. Okay. So, chestnuts going to there. You can use Brazil nuts, walnuts, up to you. But I like the texture of chestnuts. A patty, again. Mm -hmm. My little burger press That's there. Good in it thing, goes. Yeah. Press it down, turn it out. And then over here, we have the bubble and squeak. Okay. So there's your Brussels sprouts. In here I've got roast potatoes, which we, we did buy frozen, and you can just chop them up, already cooked. Okay. Bit of mashed potato, frozen mash. Pellets, one in the microwave. And then you away to go. One egg. You'll need that to hold the whole thing together because it will fall apart. Brussels sprouts go in. Oh, not, not blitzed. No, no. I want, oh, I want, I want the texture of the wow. Brussels sprouts. In it goes. Now, um, I do sometimes use frozen sprouts, defrosted. One of my daughters loves them. She won't eat fresh. Really? So you get a, a slightly more of a, a patty texture with a right. frozen variety. Now, over here, you'll see we've cooked them. So, in here I've got the bubble and squeak, mm -hmm. which, which I wanted quite soft. We've got the turkey burgers, we've got the sausage burgers and the crispy bacon. And here I've got gravy, which is a dipping sauce. So if you go to America and you have a pastrami sandwich, they have a dipping gravy, don't they? Oh, my God, I'm so, thinking so let's go over my Christmas here. dinner plan. this <laughs> together quickly. <laughs> so, let's put the dipping gravy in there to start with. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. So... Bubble and squeak goes yeah. in the bottom. Okay, I, as I said to you, what it you nice. You sound like that dog, light. you know, when they go and some cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, in that goes. So there it is. Now, if you really wanted to put a little bit of lettuce on at this point, you can. It's up to you. I don't know. I'm just. Doing I mean, you could do this with sort of Sunday leftovers, couldn't you? Well, yes, and you could even do it on Boxing Day. All the leftovers on Christmas Day. Yeah. Cranberry sauce is an optional extra. Right. Okay. Then we have. The turkey burger. So there it is. There's your stuffing goes on top yep, of that yep, one there. Yep, yep, yep. Like so. I, yep. I know. <laughs> yep, yep, Holly. Yep, yep. <laughs> then we've got the sausage burger. Yeah. It goes on top of that as well. It's a tower. Then... Have you bit... worked out the calorific content of this? Or do we just It's Christmas. It? Let's Christmas not worry about that sort of thing. Got it, got it, got it. In that it goes like that. Okay. Crumby sauce, folks. A little bit. Of course, yep. Christmas. OK, a little bit of crumby sauce goes on top as well. Like I mean, I'd so. just whack a Christmas pudding in there as well. <laughs> while <you're at> it. <laughs> Hang on, it gets better. So there's your, there's your tops. Yeah. Candy canes, if you want to put down the middle to put them together. Right, I mean, OK. But I don't think they're going to be... Look at that. How am I going to get this now, in my shop? How shops? do you even eat this? With... Look at that. <laughs> 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 
Okay, that shouldn't be too hot either. There's a bit of dipping gravy as well. So in your mind, you should have the whole Christmas dinner. In my <laughs> mind, there are angels <laughs> singing. Now, the only thing which you could have done was mm. I was going to make a roast parsnip mayonnaise to put on top as well, to oh. give it its mayo angle as well. That is like... But... <laughs> I love the fact your burger's got little tip all around it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I need to just eat a bit of that. I'm going to bit that as well. It's just so delicious. Oh, my God. It really is a messy burger, isn't it? Who cares? It's amazing. Who cares? Bit of fun, bit of oh, dipping gravy. Oh, my goodness. But you needed all those elements in there, so... That's amazing. So and there you go. fun as well. Bit of fun, though. Thank you. Love my it. pleasure. Mm. Uh -oh. My absolute pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Phil, and Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Same to you. Oh, and yes. also, by the way, have a look at the way that, Phil, if you're worried about how you cook your turkey, cook it Phil's way. I've got an updated version of that as well this year. Have you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've done some experimentation. Uh, we, we cook our turkey Phil's way yeah. every year. Amen. Never, ever too. gone wrong. Thank you. Me too. Right, for all the recipe details, have a look at our This Morning app. Now... After the break, Rochelle is showing you how to grab a great festive outfit this season whilst doing your food jars in time. <laughs> She'll be showing her pick of the best in market fashion right after this. What? And this. <laughs> <laughs> what?